Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to go about installing a Tapio smart Wi-Fi light switch. This light switch also has dimmer. You can control it with your Wi-Fi. Um, it's really simple. These are uh, good quality. Find them on Amazon. I can put the link in the bottom if you like and uh, let's get on to it. I already went ahead and removed the previous switch. We're putting it in this uh, bedroom where we have a dimmer switch, a manual dim dimmer switch, which was working fine. Um, has a little crack in it. But we have a fan and a light in the fan um, that can be operated independently from each other. <clears throat> and uh, the button is for the fan, so we're leaving that alone. And uh, the lights, which we can dim, turn on, turn off, or schedule on a timer, um, will have their own. So the cool thing about about this is they give you a label and uh, you can label your wires. You can get a device like this um, uh, fairly cheaply at any electric hardware store or Home Depot in your area. Um, this will help you greatly to identify which is your uh, line and, and that's the one that's gonna buzz a lot. Uh, you see it's buzzing right now, but this is that I already disconnected it. It will be buzzing a lot more and a lot louder. Uh, this is just some um, electrons floating in the, in the wires. So we've identified our line. So we labeled it with line. This is the load. You see it upside down. So we, we've labeled our wires and this way it'll, it'll make it easier for you to follow the instructions. All right, so we had everything connected and as a, an added safety thing, I like to always add um, electric tape just to ensure that these don't decide to come off for whatever reason. Here, uh, a little extra tip is you want to make sure that you use the most outside um, and your device just to, you know, make sure for whatever reason they're as far as apart from each other. Um, in my case, it was labeled. So the red screw with the red wire, the black screw with the black wire. In, in your house, maybe the wiring is different. Uh, in other areas in my house, I, I'd had two black wires. So that's why that tool is very good at identifying which one is your load um, and which one is your line. So an extra um, safety, I like to cover these. Let's see if we can do it with one hand. Nope. So here we put the electric tape on top to just cover the screws in case anything decided to touch that area. It won't touch the, the live wire. It shouldn't. This is just me. I feel more comfortable with this little extra step. You don't have to do it necessarily, but I like to do it. So now we're just gonna put it back in there, turn on the power and then hook it up to the app and then we'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we've completed the installation process. As you can see, it looks good. This is actually putting on this cover for me it happens to be the most difficult part because you have to make sure that they're aligned before you put it on. And as you can tell, I cracked mine. Might have to get a new one and replace it. So be gentle and don't, these, these are just a cover screws. You don't have to tighten them too much. And I like to align them. Um, so they're just a small detail I like to pay attention to. So now we're gonna turn on the power and come back and show you how to connect it to your, to your Wi-Fi and be able to activate your light with the uh, Wi-Fi dimmer switch. And your, uh, you know, circuit breaker in your basement, usually if you have a basement or wherever it's in your house, you wanna make sure you, you turn off the power. So now we're just gonna turn it back on and I don't hear anything exploding and this is not falling back. So I think we're good. So we're gonna go back upstairs and check now. So the fan is on and that's operated by the button. And then the lights, 
come on manually and go off manually. So switch will have a blinking light as follows. Okay, here's the app. You can download it. I already downloaded it. So I'm just going to open it up here for you to show you. Uh, these are the ones I already installed earlier today. Before I get the idea of making a video, you want to go to add device. You want to select switches. Mine is the SD500 or S500D. And this is the process. So we already installed ours. Uh, this can also walk you through the installation. Here you can see the blinking lights. You want to go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and uh, connect to it. So we're connecting to it to it here and we're going to go back to the app and it's going to show you that it has found it. So once it's found the device, it will merge the phone and the device together. As you can see there, then you want to go and um, connect back to your Wi-Fi. So I've already connected back to my Wi-Fi, cut that part out for privacy reasons, but you want to select your Wi-Fi, the, not the 5G, the 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, there you go, it connected. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to call it the green bedroom. So we're going to name it the green bedroom and select a, an icon um, after selecting the location um, of the switch. And there you have it, it's connected and it's done. Now you can, can be controlled either from your phone, the app, or Alexa or Google Home, whichever device you have. This is a setting that I like because it can determine the, uh, depending on the light bulbs you have, it can determine where is the minimum and where is the maximum. So you follow the prompts and it will show you, um, you wanna just uh, put the max and the lowest before you see any light. So it can figure out the um, the zone in which your particular light bulbs operate within. And after that, uh, it will calibrate the dimming feature and uh, complete it. There's a few other uh, cool options in this app. You can check them out and that's it. I hope you found this video useful and helpful in your uh, journey of adding uh, smart Wi-Fi for this Tapio smart Wi-Fi. The process applies for almost all of the smart Wi-Fi's out there, uh, regardless of the brand. And another cool feature I think I forgot to mention is that this is uh, works with um, Alexa from Amazon and uh, Google Home and smart things. So now I can control the light also with Alexa. So thank you so much and have a good day. Um, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Appreciate it.